Yeah, man. So I've just been memorizing Bible verses all week. I'm loving it. Oh, awesome. Yeah, my favorite one is you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you might find you get what you need. Dude, that's the Rolling Stones. Oh. Do you have trouble memorizing Bible verses? Believe it or not, there's an easy way to do it, and I'm going to show you how. Hey guys, it's Ron White. Let me guess, you're trying to memorize Bible verses and nothing's working. You got tons of note cards, sticky notes everywhere, and you still can't remember Bible verses. Maybe you've written them out on your bathroom mirror and still nothing's working. Well, I have some good news. There is an easy way to memorize Bible verses, and here it is. The technique to memorize scripture is called the mind palace. Here's the analogy. You go to your friend's house and you take off your jacket and you leave it in a chair in one of the rooms. Three or four hours later, you leave your friend's house. You know in your brain to go back to that chair because it is holding your coat. It held it there in your brain. What if it wasn't your coat, though, that you were placing in that chair? Could you somehow place a Bible verse in that chair, and that chair holds the Bible verse in your memory? And then maybe on the next piece of furniture, you take another Bible verse and somehow lay it on top of that piece of furniture, and that piece of furniture will hold the next verse. That is what the Mind Palace is. Let me explain. In the room that you're in right now, I want you to look at the window and I want you to imagine money is just flying in the window. Millions of dollars are shooting in that window right now. Look at the window and think money. Okay, now in the corner of your room, I want you to imagine an eyeball, kind of creepy, but I want you to imagine a huge eyeball and it is staring at you in the corner. Look in the corner and get creeped out from that eyeball staring at you. On the next one, on the wall, I want you to see the name of the Lord written on the wall. See it written out, L-O-R-D, Lord written on the wall. All right, we're going to do two more. On the table in your room, I want you to imagine right now, you look over there and there's a bathtub. Somebody's taking a bath. You're looking at the table and there's a bathtub on the table. See the soap and the water going everywhere. It's getting the table all wet. Now, on the computer screen, you're looking at me right now and I want you to imagine you see your mom and your dad. And maybe your mom and your dad are on the screen with me and they're giving you this computer as a gift. All right, quick recap. We had the money flying in the window. We had the huge eyeball in the corner of the room. We had the name of the Lord written on the wall. We had a bath, somebody taking a bath on the table, and we had your mom and dad on the computer. Now, believe it or not, as crazy as it may sound, we just memorized the first five of the 10 commandments. We took them, we turned them into a picture, and we saw them around this room. On the first item in the room, the window, we had money. The First commandment is you should not have any other gods. Well, some people make money a god. So that reminds you when you see money to think I should have no other gods. Number two, we saw a huge eyeball in the corner. We used an eyeball for an idol. It says you should have no idols. Number three, we had the name of the Lord written on the wall. Well, the third commandment says don't take the name of the Lord in vain. Number four was a bath. Well, the fourth commandment is keep the Sabbath, Sabbath, a bath, keep the Sabbath holy. And then number five, your mom and your dad, honor your mother and your father. So we just took the first five commandments, we turned them into a picture, and then we stored them on locations in a room, just like when you go to your friend's house and you set your jacket in a chair in a room. Okay, so the first step that you need to do is you need to build your very own mind palace. The way that you do this is you stand in the doorway of every room in your house. And when you're standing in that doorway, pick five pieces of furniture in each room. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the next room. Pick five more pieces of furniture. Number them six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go to the next room. Stand in the doorway of that room and number them 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Number five pieces of furniture in every room in your house. And then before you try to memorize scripture, make sure you have these memorized. Close your eyes and say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and review your files. A few tips on this. 
Pick big items, don't pick small items, and spread them out around the room. Go in a sequence. When you memorize the, the first five commandments of the Ten Commandments, most likely I was jumping around your room. I was saying the window over here, and maybe the corner was over there, and the wall over there, and the table over there. That's because I don't know what your room looks like. But when you're creating these, you are going to know what the room looks like. So make sure you go in a circle, a logical order. Don't jump around the room. Now, the next thing is, is when we memorize the Ten Commandments, we put one word on each file. You can put an entire verse, though, on a file. That means Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Verse 1, the entire thing could go on one file. Verse 2 could go on your number 2 file. When you memorize an entire verse, don't turn every word into a picture. Just create a picture for the main idea of that verse. Let me give you an example. So let's say that you wanted to memorize Romans chapter 8. Verse 1 says, Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So you don't turn every word in the verse into a picture, but just the main idea for that verse. Therefore, there is now no condemnation. And you want to put that on your first file. You see a giant number four, and maybe I would imagine it going into a glass that has no condensation on it. Condensation to remind us of the word condemnation. Therefore, there is now no condemnation nation, but we'll think of condensation. And we see that picture on the first piece of furniture in our room. The second piece of furniture, we would see maybe Jesus drinking that glass of water because the verse says then, for those who are in Christ Jesus. So you're imagine Jesus putting the water inside of him by drinking it. That's on your second piece of furniture. You go back and re you review number one. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And that's how you could memorize Romans chapter 8, the entire verse, by taking the verses, turning them into pictures, and just seeing them on spots around your room. So in recap, number one, stand in the doorway of every room in your house, pick five pieces of furniture in each room. These are going to be the locations where you're going to store the verses. Step number two, take the verses and turn them into pictures, images that kind of remind you of what that verse says. Step number three, see those pictures on the furniture in your house. And then the last step is just always be reviewing. When you're driving to work the next day, think to yourself, what were the verses that I memorized? And go back and walk through your house. Or at the end of the day, as you're falling asleep, just ask yourself, what were the verses that I learned today? And review the pieces of furniture in your house. Using this technique, I believe you could memorize a hundred verses in just a few days. As a matter of fact, this video right here is an excerpt from my course, How to Memorize the Sermon on the Mount in just three days. That's over a hundred verses. You may be struggling right now thinking you have to create pictures for verses and books of the Bible. Don't worry about it. I've done all that work for you. All you got to do is click right here and you can get that for free or click down below and get my pictures for lots of different verses for free. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> hey guys, what are you still doing here? Click the link and get my pictures for different Bible verses right here. And don't forget to click or subscribe right here to get more videos. Come on, what are you waiting for? Click right here, get my pictures for verses, and don't forget to subscribe. It's easy. Come on, just click. Click right here.